Today's target for the capacitor bank is a four-foot fluorescent tube that can be seen horizontally near the bottom of the screen. I'm going to pre-ionize it with the 15kV 30MANST, the black box with the insulators on each end that can be seen on the bench near the right. The cap bank will then be dumped 70 microfarads at 6400 volts into the pre-ionized fluorescent tube. Let's see what, if anything, happens. Here's the pre-ionizing of the fluoro tube. I'll flip the room lights down for a moment. Clearly, the fluoro tube is ionized and glowing from the NST. Let's give this fluoro tube a try. Charging, charged, and fire. No burst. I had been hoping that the fluoro tube would burst, but it seems the discharge simply did a lot of cracking of the glass in this area. Cracks can be seen there. Air has therefore leaked in, and I cannot give this tube a second shot. It's now full of air. I was hoping for a nice shattering burst, but I guess uh, I'm not going to get one from one of these fluoro tubes. Here's a look at the other end of that fluoro tube. All of the phosphors were blown off the glass at this end, and the filament structure inside was basically destroyed and removed. We can see a bit of it lying on the bottom uh, inside there, uh, near the number 25 marked on the bulb. Again, I wish this had burst, but it only cracked, so I'll try something else next time. Hopefully it'll be better. That four-foot fluorescent was a bit of a disappointment. It didn't burst all over the place. But I have a compact fluorescent spiral tube that still has vacuum, and I have an old 15-inch long straight fluorescent tube that still has vacuum. I'm going to uh, try both of these, and I will be pre-ionizing them with a 15kV 30MA NST. Here's how it looks pre-ionized off uh, half of the 15k NST. I'm only giving it to 7500 volts here, but that's clearly enough to make it flickering, and it should be conductive for the cap bank. Or so I'm hoping. Let's give the compact fluorescent a try. Charging, charged, and fire. And, again, nothing spectacular. I've now switched to the 15-inch straight fluorescent tube. This will be the last one. I am getting a faint pre-ionization on this tube, so I'm going to go ahead and try it. It does have vacuum. 
Let's give the straight to Betroy, although I'm not having much luck. Charging, charged, and fire. Finally, I get a result out of a fluoro tube, both ends blown off. Very happy with that. This one tube popped successfully, the 15 inch one, I finally got a result. It blew both the ends off and uh, broke the glass into two pieces. Finally.